Hey, Heath. Hey, Kevin. Wow, the professor is in. Look <laughs> at your display here. Yeah, I figured it was about time to have a little lesson on wire size or the American wire gauge that we see a lot. American wire gauge, that's what that stands for? AWG, yeah. That's funny, I always thought it was just AUG. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can see we have a lot of different sizes and there's a lot of different reasons for having these. It depends on what a device is going to utilize as to how big the wire is going to be, how much power it needs. Right, so not all electricity is the same when it's running through our house? <laughs> right, we can't just run one size wire to feed everything in there. Okay. So it starts off with these smaller numbers and it actually runs backwards till it gets to a certain point down here and then it starts climbing again. So let's start with the smallest. So this is 18 gauge, and in this case it's a thermostat wire, and we have four conductors, but each conductor is 18 gauge, so that one right there is 18. Okay, so something like that used for thermostats, doesn't require a lot of power, right. sufficient. Control. All right, moving up from there. So next step is 14. Mm -hmm. This we'll see a lot in the house, and the color kind of helps us identify it in newer homes. This we're gonna see for loads like lighting, bedroom receptacles, that kind of thing. Basic, predictable, right. no problem. Yep, and you can see it's a little bit bigger than that 18. I have heard you throw around 14.2, 14.3, that refers to what? So that refers to the number of conductors. So the first number is the gauge size, that 14 that we can see, but then the two would be we have two conductors and a ground. So one, two, and our ground, that's our 14.2. And so th there might be a third conductor if you have that three-way switch or something like that. Exactly. But it's still the same size. Same size, just more conductors in the jacket. Okay. I'm also familiar with this. You seem like we always run that in the kitchen and other places. Kitchens, your washing machines, sometimes in the basement, bathrooms. We want that larger size, that 12 gauge that can handle 20 amps. Because we're going to be using appliances that pull more electricity, a dishwasher, exactly. a blender, or something like that. So those like are the that. areas we're going to have coffee makers, toasters in the kitchen. Needs a lot more power. We want to have a larger cable that can handle that. Mm -hmm. We've talked about GFCI receptacles before. They mm -hmm. always are attached to something like this. Just out of curiosity, do we ever put a um, GFCI protection on this? Or? You can if it's providing power for something in the garage, in the basement. Absolutely, there's no problem putting a GFCI on that. Cool. Okay, so moving on to the orange. The orange. 10 gauge, 30 amps typically in a residence. Dryers, maybe your outdoor air conditioning unit, maybe a small oven in the kitchen. Stuff that you know is going to pull a lot of electricity. That's going to draw a lot more, correct. So let me just ask you, what if I start using the wrong wires? Or what if I start <laughs> trying to plug things into maybe the 14 gauge that I shouldn't? That shouldn't. Yeah. So what's going to happen is certain appliances use a certain amount of power. So if something's really designed to be used in a kitchen or a bathroom, you want to try and plug it in there. If you try and plug it into a bedroom circuit that's a little bit smaller, it may draw too much current. It may overheat the wire, may draw too much for the breaker, and cause a trip. We don't want to have an overheating issue where we're plugging something into the wrong place. So don't bring the blender into the bedroom? Please don't bring the blender. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> this guy here? So that's our eight. We're going to see this maybe for some smaller ovens, air conditioning units, that kind of thing as well. Right, and then sixes? This might be one of the last ones you'll typically see in the basement of your house if you're looking around or if you open up some of the walls. We're going to use this for an electric oven, maybe a level two car charger. Gotcha. So that means that from like this point on, this is sort of more big boy stuff here? Right, now we get into the single conductors, and this is where we're gonna install these, typically in a conduit, use it for a larger load, maybe we're feeding a hot tub outside. Maybe we're feeding a sub panel in the house. That's where these are gonna come in. So that's interesting, you call them single conductors. So, you know, at first glance, this looks a lot bigger than this. Right. But to your point, there's only one of these copper conductors, so we're comparing that to this, just to one of those. Correct, so this is a jacket with multiple conductors, this is just our single. Okay, so when do we use things like this, or this? So this, this is something much larger. So something like this, or even this, this is 500 Casey mil, this is the size, so if we really want to confuse the numbers, we go backwards till we hit one knot, start going up, and then we go metric. KC, oh, the letter K, C. Yep, 1,000 circular millimeters. Gotcha. So this would actually carry 400 amps. And so why would I use that? If, I if had... you had a really large residential service, I mean, it's a little unusual, uh, more of a commercial or industrial application. Right. Um, for a 200 amp service in a home, though, if we're doing copper versus aluminum, we're going to use this, 3 odd. Gotcha. So headline here, right wire for the right usage, right. for the right appliance or circuit or something like that. And you'll be good. All right, well, next time we're going to talk about volts and amps, but this is enough for now, Professor. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.